Okay, so I am measuring the resistance. There's two poles down there of the torque converter lockup solenoid from the automatic transmission. So, anyway, there it is. That's the location on the transmission. And I got it hooked up to my ohm meter, which it's 30 ohms. Alright, so I got three resistors in a series here. They're each 10 ohms, so 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30 ohms of resistance. They have a power rating of 10 watts. Um, you want the power going through the lockup solenoid is um, uh, about 5 watts, so you just want something greater than 5 watts, preferably you know, two or three times greater than five watts and they're hooked up in there and they're measuring 30 ohms resistance which is the same as the uh, this lockup solenoid. So I'm going to solder these together and then solder them in place of the uh, torque converter lockup solenoid. So um, anyway, once again, um, that's a total of 30 ohms of resistance with a 10 watt power rating. Now this is what I originally did. Um, these are two 15 ohm resistors um, with a half watt power rating and they actually worked fine but you can tell the resistors did get burnt up a little bit but you know they're still working they still have 30 ohms of resistance but over time they may eventually rupture and they could cause some heartache to your electrical system so it's best just to get you know the correct power rating that way you can avoid yourself any electrical problems that could arise in the future so I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna put those big gaudy looking things in there in its place with the appropriate power rating so uh, so, like I said, I wouldn't recommend using uh, these half watt resistors. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to solder this for you. Here's the uh, first attempt here. Let's see if I can get some more of this flux on there. Alright, this acid. There we go. Not all that interesting. Now I'll do the next side. Alright. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, there's, there's our uh, little soldering job. There we go. Just used uh, some shrink wrap over the tips there. All right. So I covered those three resistors, and um, yeah, I did use uh, some duct tape. <laughs> um, but 
he doesn't want them covered because they're <clears throat> wire. Uh, what is it? I mean, you got carbon wire and whatever. They're wire frame resistors or whatever. And uh, you just you don't want to get them wet, so it's good to cover them up. Um, I used I doubled up on the uh, the wire cover here. I might use a little more tape. Like I said, it's it's kind of gaudy looking. I'll probably just set it over here somewhere. Um, but uh, you definitely don't want those resistors getting soaking wet so um, anyway that's it